What's up Pirates? It's Dennis here today bringing you another deck profile. We're going to be doing the starter deck 10 leader that is a Law. Law is my most favorite and my most fun to play and he's going to get better in the next set but this is an early look at how you might want to start playing the deck for right now and a good way to practice the deck. So this is what this deck profile is going to be about. So let's talk about the leader really quick. His effect is Dawn minus 3. You place an opponent's character that's 3,000 power or less at the bottom of the deck and then you play a character with a cost of 4 or less from your hand. So he does a lot with just one single effect. And Dawn minus 3 may sound like a bad thing, but it's a really strong leader because of the way this deck is able to ramp up a lot of Dawn. Or at least the way I built it anyway. So let's show you what this leader can do and why I personally think that he's going to be better than the old uh, Green Red Law in the next coming set. So for starters, we've got four of this guy here, Gordon. Now Gordon is very old you just play some well no you play them then place them at the bottom of the deck to give a guy minus three thousand power so this works with the leader so that you can bottom deck basically guys that cost six which is pretty huge and a pretty big deal and he must be played at four because it's your way to knock down big characters and just bottom decking because bottom decking as we all know is the best removal in the entire game at the moment so let me go through let me tell you really quickly this thing is expensive it's like 20 bucks each so the only alternate um thing you can do is play Hydra. It does the exact same thing as the Gordon, but you minus the Dawn instead. So it's a lot worse, but if you're going to try to budget build, this is the only way I can give it to you to try to play this. Next up, uh, 4 of Otama, just a standard thing. It also does the effect of reducing power to the opponent, so it's another way to, you know, bottom deck guys that are a bit more higher. And besides that, wonderful 2k. Always been, always will be. Next 2k, we've got uh, Jinbei here. Very, I just, I just like to discard him. I only play him in a dire emergency where I have nothing else better to play. But it doesn't have a bad effect either. It also minuses 2,000 power to a guy when attacking and holding a Dawn. So yeah, one of the better 2k's to use in the deck. And still another 2k is Sanji. I mostly use him for the 2k counter. But besides that, if you're playing against Nami, the only deck that this is really good against where you get to pick up your own life. And then he just gets really strong, boosts himself to up to 7,000 in one shot. And also for the fact that sometimes your hand size gets a little small if your opponent doesn't attack your characters. No, I mean, if your opponent doesn't attack your leader, you end up with a small hand size. So this guy corrects that in a way because you get to pick up your own life and get to boost yourself really strong. So here's one of my favorite guys already to play with the leader effect or just to play him for 3 Dawn. It's the Rushing Zoro. It's They're all Rushing Zoro. They're just different arts. But yeah, the 3-5 Rushing Zoro is very good to play after you do the Law Bottom Deck effect. You get to play him immediately and then start swinging. So I love playing him at 4 because you need some aggression. You're a 4 life leader, so you don't really get to last that long in a game. So you want to try to win sooner rather than later. Up next, we've got another character from the film set. This was uh, the on play Trafalgar Law. Give an opponent's character minus 2,000 power. And since he costs 4, you can play him with your leader's effect after you bottom deck an opponent's character. So pretty strong at that. Or just play him first, reduce the guy, then use the leader to bottom deck somebody that originally had 5,000 power. So we love cards that reduce power in this deck. That's what it's all about. Next 4 of, we're playing Trafalgar Law. New character as well. The blocker one and the on play minus Dawn to trash 2 cards from your opponent's hand. If they have 7 or more cards in their hand already. So this doesn't come up too often, but when it does, it stings really hard because your opponent does not want to lose two random cards from their hand. You can just completely mess them up if this resolves. And besides that, it's just a blocker you can play for free with the leader's effect. This guy here is interesting and one of my favorite cards. So Penguin says if on play, if you have three or less Dawn on your field, you add up to two Dawn from your Dawn deck and rest them. So this is a little weird and it doesn't make sense to play, but it only works with your leader's effect. So after your leader does you minus three Dawn to play this thing, you can be most likely at less than 3 Dawn. Well, 3 or less. And then you do his effect to get 2 Dawn immediately back. And then the following turn, you get a 5k attacker, which is really good. So let me tell you first in this deck, when you mulligan, I think this is the most important card in the whole deck to see. Because you want to see him early on, not late in the game. He's most powerful in the beginning and not that great at the end. So Penguin, love to see him. You got to see him. Up next, Beppo, the cute bear partner of his. This is one of the better cards in the deck as well. On play and when attacking. If your opponent has more Dawn cards on your field than you, you get a free Dawn and rest it. So this is going to always come up because you always have less Dawn than your opponent. As you can see, it's always going to happen because you're minusing Dawn constantly. Your opponent is not. 
and you're always going to get that free dawn when attacking and on play so it's pretty damn handy so i love to see this guy so you're playing him at four this is an oddball here that we're deciding to play at one and it's going to be gene bart gene bart is the one that does on play you got to rest a dawn to add up to one dawn card from your dawn deck and set it as active he's a little tricky for me to do that's why i only chose to play him at one and i'll show you why i'm not playing him at four because i've recently replaced him for this great idea here it's this card from the old film deck ain 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 girl here on play add a dawn from your dawn deck and rest it so this is automatic anytime you play it. and you can play it by doing the law effect or just resting for dawn and then getting a free dawn then doing your law effect so very good card overall it's easier to do than gene bart you don't have to rest anything it just happens she doesn't have a counter so but still, like I said, she's free to play with the leader's effect, and then you get a free dawn for it. So you're only playing two minus dawn just to play her. So that's why I love her at four. And also she's 5k attack for afterwards in the following turn to keep attacking. On to the theme of reducing power of the opponent is Brook. This guy is really good too. I'm playing him at three. And when dawn one, you give two of the opponent's characters minus 2,000 power. So that's really good because, again, you're going to try to bottom deck everything your opponent plays. So a very strong card to have. Found room for three of him in the deck. Up next, we're playing also from set four. Well, set four here, we've got on play the Miss All Sunday. You add a Dawn from your deck and then rest it. Then when you got six or more, you draw a card. So this is always going to draw you a card because she costs five. Then you add one, you're always going to be at, at at least six. And then you get that. Trigger is minus two. You get to play her again for the late game if you want to try that. And I'm playing her at 2 because she does not have a counter. And sometimes you're left at very little dawn because of your leader's effect if you spam it a lot. So that's why I'm just playing her at 2. You might want to move her up or move her on ratios. I'll talk about that later in the video of what you can try to change. Last character card I'm playing here is Ace. Ace is uh, really good too because he does minus 3,000 power to 2 characters of your opponent. So that's really damn good. And then 7,000 attack for the next turn. Unfortunately, he does not gain rush because... You are not a Whitebeard Pirate leader. So, yeah, he's just there for the on play minus 3,000. Then do your leader's effect to bottom deck something that's could have originally have had 6,000 power. One thing you might want to play instead of him is the 5 drop Luffy. Let me show you that real quick. If you don't like the ace thing, this one's not bad also. It gives you rush. And then with 2 Dawn, you just get to ignore blockers for the final game strike. So, yeah, Luffy is an alternate alternative to playing the ace. Next up, some events. Playing one Radical Beam because we can. It's the greatest event in the game for red still. So we're playing one of it because it gives you 4,000 power. You're a 4 life leader, so this always will be coming up at 4,000 power when you need it. One of that. I'm playing also one of Thunder Bagua. This is the one that will give you a Dawn if you have 2 or less life cards, which is, again, very common because you are a 2 life leader. And then 4,000 power to boot for a battle. So, and if you're crazy lucky, you'll get to trigger it and get a free dawn. So not bad either. Just one of that. Last three events. Round table. So this is the one that gives minus 10,000 power to an opponent's character. So when you do this to any character in the game, your leader will be able to bottom deck it. Because this costs four, you'll have at least four dawn up, right? And then Trafalgar Lock can return three of the dawn to bottom deck whatever you just reduce power. So this can destroy every big character in the entire game. Big Mom... Um, you know, Big Edward, what are the other ones, Kaido's, all the gigantic characters will all be destroyed by this because nothing has 14k power so far. So <laughs> this is the card that will eliminate anything for you. And we're playing it at 3 because, it again, it has no counters and it's only there for the really large characters. So that's why I'm playing it at 3. I'm going to make the deck a little neater for you guys to see the ratios. So here's all 50 cards looking clean for you guys. And this deck is very good at flooding the board because of the leader's ability to just play things for free and it's very good at removal because again just the leader's effect and overall the deck gives you back your dawn that you go minus four so it's it overall balances itself out and i think well i know it's going to get super strong in the next set so this is just an early start for you guys to try to play it but it's pretty fun and it's pretty decent right now as well so the, again the things you might want to change is if you don't like aim for some reason or if you're feeling gene bart for whatever reason yeah i would move him for her but I, again, I like Ain more because it's just free Dawn without any restrictions whatsoever. And the Ace can go for a Luffy. Besides that, I wouldn't really change anything else here. And yeah, that's the full deck profile. And I'm going to make it a lot more stronger in the next set with our new cards. So 
Thanks for watching. Hope you guys try this out. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.